Here's a preview of what you're about to see. Look Whoa. at that. Bad. Bad. <laughs> but no Nintendo characters were yes. hurt. Thank God, because that took me longer to do than the boat. So this boat has, this would have been the fourth run after the build. Watch this. Hey kids, welcome back to Roto Talk. Hey kids, welcome back! So, since I ordered the wrong boat, hang on, music's a little loud. Since I ordered the wrong boat for the build, I thought we were doing a V-Box. I did this big V-Box run and uh, did the do's and don'ts of driving and we did a test drive of the, uh, I think it was the Lego V-Cracker. So today it's a little windy as you might be able to see at the trees here, but down at the water it's not hateful. Uh, the one of the good things about living on top of a hill, I guess. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the Nintendo boat, which is a flat bottom, a box, which is what we're building in the build video. We got a 30 cc stock in here. No, I'm sorry, this is the GZR, 30 cc stock. Um, but it's, they say it's modified, but it's not. But this is the famous Nintendo boat. There's been three versions of this now. It's just a fun little boat to run. 30cc, pull start rotated over, belt start here, single turn fin right, set up very similar to the V-Box. And remember, if you'll remember on the V-Box, I said you gotta watch the wind. Pay attention to where the wind's coming or bad things will happen because they sail. Um, flat bottoms are even worse, so we might be going out in a rowboat if we flip it. But we're gonna take her down the water. I'm just gonna grab it, walk it down, chuck it in, and uh, we'll talk about it while we're running. Walk so, down the hill, right back. I don't walk down here very much. Look, wedding venue, two single people getting ready to die, having a funeral. So, got my redneck rubbers on. We're just going to chuck her and duck her, okay? Hopefully we don't flip. It's actually fairly calm down here. You can see the ripple down there, but... So, again, pay attention to which way the wind's coming. I'm not even worried about the wind. It's really strange. It's like 30 mile an hour up on top of the hill by the house. And down here, it's like... Fart in the wind, huh? Okay. So, shouldn't be in too much danger of flipping. Since we're getting ready for a wedding down there, I don't want to scare them too much. <laughs> so we're just going to keep it right in here. My little third here. And uh, uh, that'll be it. Got some debris floating. Hopefully we don't clog up. Okay. Let's make sure right is right and left is left. Yep, all right. Here we go. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, that's interesting. So, completely lost. <laughs> completely lost radio signal. I don't know what that was about. Let's take a walk. I guarantee you that boat's destroyed. So I guess it's a good thing we're building a new one. Wow. There she is, under my neighbor's pier. Oh yeah, she's gone. She's trash. She was going pretty full speed. Ooh, I think I killed a fish. No, maybe not. Oh yeah, look at that. Beyond repair. Look at that mess. All right, well, let's see if we can figure out what happened. home base yeah not worth fixing all right i'm at all my right, back. other neighbor's pier just because it's easier no idea guys let's see throttle was fine steering was fine let's try the fail safe so i'm going to give it full throttle <laughs> everything shifted and i'm going to turn it off fail safe works the only thing I can think of is that we have, 
This is my old version of Radio Box. I have a new version that we're going to be putting in the, the new Nintendo boat. Man, that thing hit hard. See this battery? It usually sits right there. The only thing I can think of, maybe a bad battery plug. I don't know. Yeah, got some uh, white corrosion there, but, and that would cause that. The only thing that's gonna cause what that thing just did, it was not a radio failure. There's no way, because this radio easily goes all the way down the end of that lake, all the way back. Never, I mean, I've tested this on the big lake. It'll actually go to the point where you can't see the boat without even a, a glitch. So it wasn't that. Batteries charged in this, batteries decent charged in that because I checked it before we came down. Yeah, look at that. Knocked the pipe loose. You can see the deck completely trashed. First, maybe one of the first times I ever used pool noodles in a boat. I always use pour foam. Okay. So when you take a wooden boat and you go full speed into rocks or the pier post, this will happen. Now, this boat is not worth fixing. Not even remotely close. Uh, luckily, no damage to the hardware. No damage to the prop. I think the engine's probably fine. Uh, so the only thing I can think of is that we had an intermittent uh, electrical failure on this thing. Um, I'm getting to the point where I'm about ready to double fail safe these things, but I have never had that happen like that. Let's see, switch is working okay. Let's find out. Yep. Ah, look, do you see that? Lost it. There it is. Uh oh. So I don't know if you guys can see that positive wire. See how it's coming out? Look, dead. Yep, there's your problem. All right, so there you go. Very expensive mistake. But no worries, we're building a new one. I didn't know I was going to do with a third flat bottom anyway, so. <laughs> Until the next time, there you go. Check your connections better, but I honestly did not see that coming. Look at that. Definitely, now, they weren't loose, not coming out. I think they were touching. They like went like that. All right, so lesson learned. Bye-bye, Nintendo. Fire pit you go tonight. Yeah. All right, so until the next time, kids. Maybe we'll run the other flat bottom. I need to rebuild the engine on that one. Anyway, so you learned something. Check your connections. <laughs> Until the next time, keep the uh, sealed side down. Bye.